Hi all out there, good evening and welcome to another session of Tech Tablet Daily Dose with Warren Rao but this time with a difference now. In this session we would not be looking at SAP ABAP, we are done with SAP ABAP season 2 interview questions. So as discussed in this video or from this session we would be looking for a while at understanding what UI5 Fiori is all about. Alright, so now with that perspective let me just explain to you what UI5 Fiori is and what's the course content and what it requires to be a, a, a developer, what it needs to be a UI5 Fiori developer. Now I have not covered the O data part in this video, I, I, I would make that in another video but then let us look at the UI5 part to begin with in this session, in this specific video. So if you want to become an SAP UI5 Fiori developer then it's, it's always good to know basics of ABAP that is understanding, having a good understanding of SC11 that is your ABAP dictionary, SC37 that is your function builder, your BAPI or RFC and SC80 which is your object navigator. Now it's not mandatory that you have to know but yes it is always an added advantage that you know these because most of the times when we talk of SAP then your backend is expected to be OData which is connected to ABAP and it's good that you have programming knowledge of ABAP also. And basics of ABAP programming is for ease in backend operations but it is not a standard requirement. Now SAP UI5. Now guys SAP UI5 and Fiori are not the same. Let us first understand this. UI5 and Fiori are two different, I would not say modules but they are two different developmental platforms altogether. Alright, though the technology or the, the, the source code or yes everything is the same or might be the same but yet UI5 Fiori is a custom design application while Fiori is a standard application in which you are open to any number of enhancements or any number of extensions. All right. Now let us understand what is SAP UI5 that is UI is abbreviated as user interface 5 version 5. Now to understand introduction you have how to un install SAP UI5 Eclipse and the plug plugins. It is not SAP UI5 plugins. It is installation of Eclipse and the SAP UI5 plugins. You also would have development environment and configurational setup, a documentation of toolkit for API references and help links are all essential. Then because uh, th th this API references is like the heart and soul if you want to become a UI5 developer and for this you also have to understand uh, how to download uh, I mean there's nothing in downloading Eclipse but then the major part is installing the required plugins and then you know uh, uh, ensuring that you have a proper environment and the configuration ready for you to code an application is the most important thing then you have some uh, models which are to be covered which is JSON model that is JavaScript object navigator then you have XML which is extensible uh, or extensible markup language like HTML HTML is also a markup language but then HTML is not a model all right then you have a resource model also which is your I18N I18N is basically internationalization if you just count the number of alphabets in internationalization you would be having 18 I guess so yes that is why it is you know cut short as I18N. The next part that you would have to uh, know or that you would have to cover is the binding in which you have one way binding, two way binding and data binding that is your sorry one way binding and two way binding which is your data binding and then you would be having your model or resource binding which would be binding with your I18N or yes your, your local files. Then you have views. I want you to remember or understand that views can be created using four platforms HTML, JavaScript, XML and JSON but sticking to real time requirement we do not create views in HTML or JavaScript either that generation is done with. Now at least as far as SAP UI5 is concerned we create views using XML and yes you would also have to understand how to create views uh, using JS and HTML because that would give you a good insight into API references and things like that. Then you have to understand screen elements and controls that are associated 
uh, screen elements. Now, if you want to understand this, then you have to take a look at properties. What are properties and aggregations of an element? What are the events and methods associated with it? Now, they, there are some very basic elements which are used almost in every application like an application header, a paginator, a text field, a text area, an image, horizontal divider, list box, a panel. Panel is basically like a div, uh, a division, a div in HTML. You have a splitter, you have checkbox, radio button, drop down, progress indicator, slider, range slider, tab strip, dialog box, message box, date picker. Oh my god, you have a lot of elements that can be placed in the front end. And you, you basically have to have a good understanding of how to create an element and what are the various properties, aggregations, events and methods associated with it. Unless you do that, you would not be able to create a view as such. Then you would have to understand the general functionalities that is uh, your, your logic, how to build a logic for your views how to capture values, how to assign values to the screen elements, how to enable and disable screen elements, how to set visible and invisible screen elements, creating a form, navigating between views, implementing a code in view and controller technique. What is a shell concept? Now shell is a different concept. It is because of this shell that your application is loaded into uh, the Fury Launchpad. Then you have, okay, shell basically it embeds your it encapsulates your application is what you can say. So shell is a mandatory concept that you have to understand. You have front end methods like bind element, bind rows, bind items, which you have to take a look at. And then you have SAP Fiori. All this while we've been looking at UI5. We've just seen, a, you know, basics of, you know, uh, you know, if you want to become a developer, then these are the essentials. Okay, now these are a must have things. Now, when you talk of Fiori, here you have to understand what are the types of Fiori apps and its architecture. It's good to know the concept or the usage of SAP Web IDE tool and then configuration and enhancement because every Fiori app is generally enhanced if you want to make the required changes. Understanding an end to end scenario in Fiori. How do we import and export an SAP Fiori app? Then you have XML based views. JavaScript based controllers and a component.js. All these are to be understood. Now, component is basically something which connects all the pieces at one place. Component has then evolved into a manifest.json, which we would be understanding later. It's not important right now. But then uh, it, it basically connects all the technical aspects of your project or your application at one place. This is what a component or a manifest does. Then you have to also look at the different mobile libraries that you have. Now these are also elements. Uh, you talk of a link, image, button, label, panel, carousel, checkbox, slider, indicators, elements. They, they, they are all front end elements. And then you have also elementary works like audio tags, video tags, HTML page structures, ordered list, unordered list. Now all these are HTML uh, tags to be very specific. Then you have to also capture the difference between tagging or difference, yeah, difference between tagging in HTML, XML and JavaScript, how they work, what is an MVC architecture and how can you best, you best adhere to the MVC architectural framework is very important because when you talk of creating a view or a controller, it is easy, but then Adhering to all the protocols and then creating an application is expertise. So that is what you would have to understand. Then there is formatter function that you have to see. Debugging also has to be understood. CSS, I18N, which is change of uh, multiple languages of international, uh, you know, of international recognition. You have extension projects and extensions, layout editor for XML views. How to develop Fiori like applications. Now this is important. That is a full screen and a master detailed application. How do we deploy Fiori applications to SAP ABAP UI5 repository? All these are part of front end only. Now back end is a different you know, uh, structure altogether. 
and then we have css3 which is for beautification or cosmetization which is basically cascading style sheet version 3 css3 is cascading style sheet version 3 we have two variants of css one is inline css and external css and in this you have different properties like styling front font editing round corners image usage how to uh, apply background image how to change the background color there are a lot of things that even css has to be you know and hence even css has to be worked upon because when you talk of fury the most important even if it is ui5 or fury the most important thing is ui which would eventually lead to ux ux is user experience so only an enriched user interface can give the best user experience and that would be the end motive of an sap ui5 fury consultant all right so this is front end for you in the upcoming video i shall also clearly explain to you about the back end services and what is the back end syllabus or portion that you'll have to or the course content that you'll have to go through before you claim yourself as an sap ui5 fury developer and i hope this video helps and yes if you're interested in understanding this you can always ping me or you can send me a mail or you can send a message uh, in the comment section below and yes, uh, things would be taken care of. I hope and I wish a very, very bright future for all of you. And I would also like to remind you that it is the time is high or it is it's really right for all those ABAPers or all those people in different modules to just rethink about if they are in the safe zone or if there is any need for enhancement of their career first because technology is changing uh, friends and it's changing pretty fast and i do not want people to get affected now looking at the way how jobs are being cut off and slashed down it's always better to equip ourselves for the worst rather than equip ourselves with you know whatever we have all right so with that perspective i would like to close the session and yes thanks a lot for watching stay subscribed to this channel tech tablet daily dose for many more videos yet to be released and a lot of knowledge yet to be exchanged between us thanks a lot have a great day